Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you an ideal outfitting for your Zeus Mark II ES. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So what I did was I did do a, an ideal setup for the Zeus ES. What I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly show you uh, some of the utilities that i brought with me um i first and foremost brought an explorer cyclone which you can fit comfortably back here for the es itself and um but you can swap this out with any other variants of the cyclones or uh even a uh, rock um an roc uh if you want to do mining right but this is just a general purpose uh outfitting that i'm doing for this ship you know, uh, just to give you guys some ideas, I also went with an Atlas and put an Atlas over here as well as a Pulse, which just fits tightly in the corner right there. So you have tons and tons of functionality. And um, one of the great thing about this setup is I'm not blocking any of the um, any of the component bays, right? You still have access to all your component bays. On this side, there's no access to component bays over here, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, which is why I put the uh, pulse and the um, atlas there. Okay, so, um, so that's that's exactly what I brought to add to the functionality of the ship based on what you want to do. So now I'm going to share with you the the component uh, build that I decided to go with and the reason and my thought behind um, why I chose to do it this way. Okay, so first and foremost, I went with um the power plants i went with the best uh industrial power plant i think it's called the genoa and actually hold on i think i can be share with you here do i have access to it from here let's see can't access it while i'm in the ship but i i remember it um so i have that as a power plant it gives me 24 pips to work with and um right now i'm in scm mode so um what i initially went with is for shield generators i went with just all military grade fr 76s um which is pretty good and uh the fr 76s are very flexible because its minimum requirement is i believe two pips in order to keep it running because, uh, so let's say for example, two pips, right? To keep it running. If I give it less than that, then the only, yeah, the only way to t remove any more is to actually completely turn it off. So minimum of two pips. Some of the other shield generators require more. So you, um, if you want more flexibility for your ship, then um, you need to go with military uh, grade uh, shield generators. So um, for cooling, I went with two types. I went with the best industrial cooler, which is this one, has a uh, three pip requirement to run it and to run at its optimum, it needs a fourth one. So, um, but then I went with a cooler, a military grade cooler. Um, I forget, I think this, this is the Avalanches, which is a size two Avalanche uh, military grade A uh, coolers, which gives me full flexibility of pips. So if I wanna, if I need extra pips, I can just remove some from the cooler and it will still run. Yes, it will um, give me cooling warnings, but I still have three extra pips. I can reallocate in emergency scenarios to my other systems if need be. Okay, so this is the reason why I went with this. I went with the industrial one, the best industrial one to give me the amount of the most amount of cooling I can get. But then I went with a military one as well for um, the flexibility as well. So um, just keep that in mind if uh, based on the build that you want to go for. Okay. Okay. So I don't have any more pips to reallocate. Let me turn off weapons, which I don't need right now. So let me put back pips. Okay. So now I'm cool, properly cooled. So with um, Quantum Drive, I went with the uh, XL. Excel was still pretty good. When I um, 
I think I tested the I tested the um, the fastest, the best industrial Q drive, and it was around uh, a five minute flight, a five minute jump from where I am to Hurston. Okay, as just a test. Okay, and it took around uh, the same amount as my the Excel that I have installed. So with the Excel. I shave off two minutes and I'm taking around, I'm consuming the same amount of fuel for that same jump. So I think the XL is still pretty good at this point, but we still may need to do some other, some testing with the other ones uh, just to see. But I think uh, the XL is still good on the ES. You have the extra fuel tank. You have about 1.5 million um, in there to work with. So it's a little bit better than the CL. So, uh, which is pretty good. So, um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share with you guys my thought process as to this build, just to give you guys an ideal build that you may want to consider um, going forward, especially when engineering gameplay comes in and you're going to everything, every choice you make is important, uh, just to give you guys some ideas. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one